Hey guys, the name is Chris Barocci, welcome to Gear Corner. Today, I want to show you the differences between all the main neck pickup types. Tally, Strat, Uncovered and Covered, PAF Star Humbucker, Active Humbucker, P90 and Filtertron. It's not all of the neck pickup types, but it's a lot. This video might be very useful for you if you never had the chance to listen to all of these neck pickup types yet, but it's also a nice reminder of how these pickups actually sound for experienced players. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to the channel, that will help me a lot. And don't forget about the description box under the video. If you open it up, you'll find useful stuff like signal chain, timestamps, gear links, gear infos, etc. This is not a real, like full on pickup comparison video, obviously, because I'm using very different guitars to demonstrate them. Like, you see them behind me. What this is, is a real life test because I have the pickups in guitars where you would most probably find them anyways. A Tele pickup in a Tele, a Strat pickup in a Strat, a P90 in a guitar where it fits, a Les Paul neck pickup in a Les Paul. Let's go through all the pickup types first, and after that I will play the same lick with all of the pickups. The first has to be the Tally Neck pickup. It has a warm yet very clear sounding single coil tone and definitely more mid-range than a Strat neck pickup has. It sounds awesome clean, but it really shines with some overdrive. What I also love about a good Tally neck pickup is that it doesn't cut your head off with all the presence and treble if you play it with a high gain distortion. These pickups are normally not very loud and you have to be aware of that if you want to pair it with a P90 or a humbucker bridge pickup. Strat neck pickup. It has a beautiful pearly and sweet tone. This is the single coil sound most people are familiar with. I love it for clean and lower gain bluesy nasty overdrive tones. Not so much for high gain sounds. Its stratty character just starts to become a little overwhelming if you play it with a lot of gain. That being said, you go and ask Ingrid Malmsteen about this and he will say the opposite. So there you go. <laughs>
Hallo. Wackel, wackel, wackel. Wow. Gott. Du mal du machen. Oh, ich mag's nicht. <lacht> Wackelzahn. Neck humbuckers. Expect a warm and round sound, but it should still have clarity. A good neck humbucker will have a rich yet airy tone. You will get beautiful clean tones out of it, but it really shines with some overdrive. And it's obviously the best choice for most high gain players too. It's important to say that the pickups I'm using today are just examples of their kind. Of course, even if we're just talking about humbuckers, you will have low output, medium output, high output um, humbuckers, more PAF style, vintage ones, more modern ones, less mid-range, more bass end, whatever. They're different humbuckers, obviously, but what they all have in common is that basic round humbuckery kind of tone. Here's an example. This guitar is very different than my Les Paul. It has an ash body. It's a thin line. These are bare knuckle pickups, totally different than the, uh, the pickups in my Les Paul. And still, you will have a different tone, but the same basic character. <laughs> Active humbuckers, because more is more. <laughs> what? Most active humbuckers will have a higher output, a more modern sound, and just a, a wider frequency range, deeper bass and crazy top end. That's not always the case though. EMG and Fishman also makes pickups that are active, but do feel and sound pretty much like vintage passive PAFs. Like these ones in this guitar. These are the Fishman classic humbuckers, which are active, but do sound like PAFs, just uh, a bit more modern and uh, well, more articulation and more of a modern uh, clear tone. Filtertron neck pickups, super low output pickups with a great twangy and clear tone. They sound fantastic for clean and for lower gain overdriven sounds. They're not my favorite ones for high gain because for some reason this pick attack that all the other pickup types have is just a little bit missing, for me at least. It's of course, as always, very subjective.
And last but not least, P90 neck pickups. It's a meaty single coil, basically. It has all the, the twang and chime of Telian Strat pickups, but also the thick and round mid-range of humbuckers. These are pretty punchy pickups with quite some output. So I would put them on the same level as like humbuckers, which is something that some people seem to forget and think like P90s are gonna be like super low output vintage pickups. Uh, they have some... <laughs> And now I'll be playing the same lick on all of these guitars, showcasing all of these different neck pickups. I want to see how the volume changes, how different the output is of all these pickups, and of course how the tone changes. As you might have noticed, I didn't show Jazzmaster, Mini Humbucker and Firebird neck pickups. For a very simple reason, I don't own guitars with those pickups. So these will have to wait for, I don't know, a second episode. If you guys want to see it, let me know in the comments below. I want to see which is your favorite neck pickup type. Which one do you use most? For me, it's pretty simple. I use my Tele most, so it's going to be the Tele neck pickup. But to be honest, I also love P90 neck pickups and um, like humbuckers and everything so it's it's really hard but if i have to choose one it's probably gonna be the telly neck pickup let me know in the comments below i'll be there checking it out we'll see each other next week in another video you guys take it easy i'll be back bye bye